Alright, I finally got parts to put this tractor back together the right way. I've been waiting this whole time on this one little adapter here. And this replaces the power beyond port plug. So I can have, you know, power beyond to a, another valve. And the reason why this thing blew up last time, and I wasn't aware of it until someone pointed out to me on YouTube, is the pressure relief valves feed out the output, obviously. And when you have it connected to another pressurized system, there's nowhere for the pressure to go. It just builds up until it blows apart. So this power beyond port, that can be pressurized, and that is what you use to daisy chain things together like we've got set up here. Now, when we got this tractor, it was set up like this, and we just had never used this secondary valve because we didn't have the grappling hook on the bucket like the guy was using for his uh, moving logs. But now that I've got it hooked up to this plow, obviously problems arose. So this powered input needs to be switched over here. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put my plug back in. We're going to move this over here and on this output, this hose with a swivel here, it's going to go in this I'm going to bring it, I've got a lot of hose there, so it's going to loop up and around and get right out of the way of the valve. And the output from this valve I'm going to tee into and replace that street elbow with this. So then that will all exhaust, all the pressure, excess pressure will exhaust right back into the tank like it's supposed to. Okay, finally got everything all put back together right. And again, I've got my, this is the output over there and I switched the 90 that I was using over there over here and then that is on the power beyond port now and that feeds comes loops up and that feeds the input of this single valve and the output of this dual valve here I've got my adapter bushing from three quarter to half inch with the half inch 90 and that comes up way up loops around that hose down here into the T that I put on the output of the second secondary single valve and now this is all unpressurized this all shoots right back through the filter into the tank so that way there any excess pressure in the system can bleed off through here from both valves so I, I fired it up I cycled through everything no leaks and we're all sitting ready for the storm we're supposed to get tonight. And uh, now that this is done, I feel safe enough to use the tractor again. So I can get the Ranger pulled out of the ice, get that into the garage, get the oil pan changed out on that. And then, for all that, I start working on the deep again. But for now, I gotta go get warmed up.